Hello everyone, and now welcome to game. Oh, come on! Hello everyone, and welcome to game number two in this series between Anima and Sonic. I was like, oh, come on, because I was clicking. I had moved my mouse, clicked on the Frozen Throne icon to make it full screen, and that's right at the same time that well, the map finished loading in the game, and because of that, it ended up moving my mouse back around, and, well, I'm sure you guys really don't care, as we do see an altar of elders being built in a strange location right now. I'm not 100% I'm not sure whether or not the altar of elders does grant sight onto the high ground for the goblin laboratory. I had thought... I had thought Moonwells and Farms did. We'll have to wait until the Altar of Elders is completed to see if that is definitely the case. Ancient of War op in position to build this three or take out this 333 creep camp. As we are looking to see where things will be unfolding and unraveling. Anima in game number one. Um, was trying to set up an expansion and was simply unable to after multiple attempts ending up giving his opponent a huge huge advantage overall in terms of experience we'll see if that is going to be the case here in game number two or if he'll be able to uh, perhaps set up an expansion here a little bit more easily since it is um, a little bit of distance away from his opponent now getting that early arcane tower is really really crucial as we saw the demon hunter well archers and and huntresses all take that down Got to remind myself, don't drink uh, carbonated water right before a cast, even if your throat does hurt. Archer taking a bit of damage right there, but is going to shake it off as the Ancient of War now taking a beating and dealing a bit of damage on his own. You can see the Goblin Laboratory is nowhere, um, is not actually revealed. So I don't know if it only works with Moonwells or if this is off in a bad position. But unfortunately for the Demon Hunter, he's not going to be able to do very much except get into the action that much much more quickly. Hunter's Hall has been placed down as well as it is going to now join in on the fight. Peasant or excuse me, Footman now simply running around the corner. I'm going to spot the Hunter's Hall and realize that we may be dealing with early hunts like we did in game number one. Militia purposely pulling back here after clearing out this creep camp we, and we don't see an attempt to try and clear out that 533 creep camp here. 533 creep camps are relatively easy to clear out similar to the knoll camps on Twisted Meadows but the I'll Demon Hunter causing that much harassment could have been a, a particular problem. Demon Hunter now going to go ahead and back off there as we see the Demon Hunter now head off back to the north. Archmage, un or unable to get the kill there, gets a forced detonation, as we'll see whether or not we see a militia clear of the mercenary camp, or if we are going to be going for the expansion. Demon Hunter is still playing the same game. He wants to try and manage all of this, unable to get the mana burn, and this was a, a critical, critical mistake that Anima had in game number one. Anima unable to drop that water elemental, and I believe we only saw two water elementals the entire game. This time around, we are already seeing a third water elemental, which is a very big benefit as we now see level two on that Archmage. Mana burns will be coming in very, very heavily as we see the mana burn come in. Demon Hunter gets the item and the experience. You saw the mana burn for 50 additional damage. The militia were simply not ready. And I believe Anima, well, has a little bit of a price to pay in order to get things back together. There is that Water Elemental purposely zoning out that Demon Hunter just a bit. Archmage maybe trying to drop another Water Elemental. There you go. As the peasants are going to be, well, trying to run back around. All right, beautiful positioning here. Sonic is actually uh, stuck between a gold mine and a hard place as you see this one peasant could get taken out all right demon hunter down to 43 hit points and it looks as though the huntresses are gonna try and get a final shot off unable to do so beautifully done as we now see what well, the huntress is gonna be diving for no is it gonna dive uh, no just gonna simply shadow meld once again as we are now looking for a potential surround two very low hit point peasants going to be holding off here. Guard Tower is going to be done in just a moment. And just like that, I believe Anima will get his expansion up and running. 
economic advantage will be in favor for Anima. Guard Tower is going to be in a much better spot than it was in game number one as we do see Huntresses now just simply lying around. Archmage needs to drop another Water Elemental and do it in a hurry. Can he drop it in time? There you go. You can see the Demon Hunter going after one Peasant. Is it going to be able to get the other shot off? No. And the Demon Hunter now in a little bit of a strange situation trying to fight back from this other side no reveal militia now joining in on the fight as well we can see that the huntress is going to be in a little bit of trouble not going to be able to escape as it is going to be shadow melded right here all it needs to do is wait um, are we going to see all the units just simply stand around waiting for this huntress to break shadow meld the guard tower is already up it does not stand a chance whatsoever of escaping two quick arrows and it or maybe even one quick arrow and it is gone Archmage sitting at level two does have the two circlets of nobility. That plus four intelligence definitely making a difference as a mana burn finally going to get in here again. Sentry Ward has been placed down. Would be extremely useful. I believe, yeah, the Huntress unable to get very far at all as we now need to see an arcane tower added to try and prevent the panda from doing too much damage as well. However, Sonic not, not asleep at the wheel at all, sets up an expansion of his own tree of life, is ready to go. And this is one of the problems that human players often have. They get overly concerned with setting up their own expansion that they do not try to figure out if their opponent is setting up an expansion. We see that this is definitely the case here, and the Archmage could be dropping some water elementals and causing some problems. All right, is the Huntress going to get taken out? Um, the, is there a Sentry Ward? Oh, item, Ring of Protection, plus two has been dropped. You can see damage is being added in here as well. There's going to be another detonation. Archmage now out of mana as we see more damage being absorbed by that tree. Sentry Ward has been placed down. Archmage gets to level three, now going to be backing away as the footmen are simply going after these moon wells are we gonna perhaps get a surround here and this is always a little bit of a dangerous spot to be in as the demon hunter now surrounded demon hunter surrounded here staff of teleportation still on cooldown it appears or rather he doesn't really mind fighting next to a moon well as anima may actually be over investing in this location and now having a bit of a problem demon hunter is it teleporting here yes it is archmage is in position takes a mana burn for 17 mana as he is now going to shut down this haunted or this entangled gold mine again. Back across here, Archmage needs to get away. Demon Hunter with the boots of speed trying to close in on the gap will be able to do so as the footmen now join in on the fight, forcing zoning on that Demon Hunter. Huntresses and lots of them going to be uh, just spelling problems once more. Are we going to perhaps see a tier two? Yes, we are going in a tier two by the human panda with a breath of fire. Huge, huge problem. Demon Hunter down to 92 hit points. Is he going to get taken down? Yes, he is. He does get taken down. Level two, excuse me, level three Demon Hunter taken out. And that is going to be a problem. The panda could try and go for more breath of fire. That low hit point footman now going to be double backing around. We see the sentry ward off over here as the huntress is once more going to be coming into position. Demon hunter. Uh, nowhere to be found so water elementals will be coming into play this expansion has not really um, unloaded anything as of yet as a water elemental 31 to 39 piercing damage can cause problems all right there you go take down that huntress please demon hunter um, nowhere to be found pandas are we gonna see another huntress get taken down are you gonna make this cost effective trading two huntresses for a scroll of town portal as the uh, Archmage is still running around in a bit of a circle. Can he get away with his life? Down to 70 hit points. Panda unable to get the Breath of Fire off. Are you running into your opponent's base when you are low on life? Why the heck not? As the Ancient of War may actually get a shot off there. Yes, it does. Down to 26 hit points. Still in a crazy, crazy run. Footmen now need to get out of dodge. As you see the Footmen uh, off over here stopping the Entangled gold mine again. Archmage playing on a razor's edge and once again being able to do exactly that there goes a wisp archmage singing at level three we really should be getting a clarity potion and a heal and a scroll of regeneration there archmage should not be anywhere nearby the night elf base all right Entangled gold mine in a bit of trouble. Water elemental now making its way off to the north. Anima gonna be repeating what we saw again, just trying to make sure that this expansion never has the opportunity to really produce any gold. 
All right, Archmage now down to what, 91 hit points as we see workshops now being added. Dual Arcane Sanctums added as well. That workshop should perhaps just be canceled at this point as the Archmage, Archmage is now going to get into position here. All right, a little bit of damage. Water Elemental Archmage doesn't seem to really care that he's taking damage from this Huntress. And the Huntress doesn't want to get any closer knowing that the guard towers are very much nearby. All right, Archmage. Archmage now in trouble. Uh, uses a potion of healing. There's a mana burn. Drops a water elemental. And beautiful timing right there again. Are we going to perhaps see some more water elementals finish off some more units? Footman now getting back into position. Dryads getting abolished magic, giving more experience to the demon hunter as the panda is getting now closer to level two. Archmage is still in serious trouble. No, oh, come on. Use the scroll of regeneration. What are you waiting for? A lot of low hit point footmen now need to get away. Back off to the north. Finally, five footmen able to get inside. They're going to start mining away. Footmen using the travel time to regenerate a bit of hit points. Very, very smart use of, of the game clock there. Healing while getting into strong position. Water Mental now dropped. We should be seeing some Abolish Magic. There you go. Double chunk. Double Abolish Magic. Taking that uh, Water Mental pretty much down to nothing. A player's forces are under Anima attack. getting up that Mountain King now. Is that Mountain King going to swing things in favor of him? It looks as though Sonic is starting to gain a little bit of a foothold. Rifleman, or are we going to see Rifleman? That's a big question. Mo maybe just Mortar teams as we do see a couple of Priests coming out. Mountain King could pop out here at any moment and perhaps stun this low hip, these low hit point units. There goes some footmen. No defend on the Dryad. Mountain King, however, needs to make its way out as the Archmage needs to get over there as well. Water Elementals will be coming in. A lot of low hit point units. Are we going to see the Mountain King perhaps make a big difference? No defend on the footmen. Breath of Fire going. Oh no, Stormbolt onto the Panda. Panda now going to get surrounded. Mana Burn. Archmage um, could drop a Water Elemental. Where is it? No. None at all as the Archmage now sitting at level 4 with level 2 Brilliance Aura. All right, Dryads picking off those footmen. Stormbolt getting onto the Demon Hunter just as a 3-point Mana Burn goes down. All right, Priest now needing to get into that back position once more. 65 supply compared to... Gah, gah. 48 as we are still looking at a big fight coming underway. Mountain King does not have enough mana, does not have bash. Footman going to get taken down there as we are in a bit of a chase. When you are chasing a faster moving target, they can occasionally stop after, based upon the distance that they were able to generate turn around and fire a volley before moving again and that's exactly what seems to be the case here demon hunter getting the storm bolt and oh this could be a problem potion of invulnerability used in time that is a seven second invulnerability and it is going to cost a handful of peasants but oh st staff of teleportation is it going to be in time no it is not demon hunter falls and wow well it looks as though resurrecting of the heroes is going to take just a bit longer. Resurrecting back over here. Panda is now back out on the field. Demon Hunter is back out. Mount Mountain King does not have enough mana for a Stormbolt as of yet. And, well, having the having your opponent's heroes appear behind you, even if it is low hit point heroes, could potentially be a problem as the Mountain King buys double scrolls of healing. Panda now gets up to level 2. Demon Hunter gets up to level 4. Mountain King now in serious trouble. Where is he going? What can he hope to do? Staff of Teleportation perhaps to rejoin up with the rest of the human army. And he needs to be doing exactly that. And he does do exactly that after getting mana burned. A player's forces are under attack. Squirrels of Regeneration still on there. Mountain King using a Clarity Potion. Spellbreakers have been added. Still only one Mortar Team at this point. Even with 2-0 upgrades. That could potentially be a problem as long as you can protect that Mortar Team from those bears. Spellbreaker now joining in on the fight. Squirrel of Town Portal being used right here, right now. And the, well, the bear, Druid of the Claw, taking far more damage than he would have liked to originally. Mortar Team now makes its way off to the north. Expansion, 7,800 gold left compared to 5,000. As the Archmage going to get into position. Water Elemental has been dropped. Spellbreakers are in position. Two Mortar Teams. 4-0 upgrades. Mortar Teams just shelling the out of this tree of life are where are they going to teleport and land on straight up on top of the army here we go mortar teams however taking down the dryads mana flare causing problems but more splash damage coming in 
Mountain King going to try and finish off a couple of these bears. Uh, sta scroll or uh, teleportation, Staff of Preservation. Mountain King getting mana burn, unable to finish things off. As you see, the Dryads are absolutely getting shell shocked to death. W Mountain King, or excuse me, Panda getting taken down. Dryad's going to get taken down as Anima takes game number two in this series. Sonic lo losing this in a very, very close battle, unable to set up that expansion as we are all tied up at one game apiece. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.